So now we know how to, well, basically insert at the end of our W linked list, insert at the beginning, and let's take a look at how you can insert after or before a node. In today's video, we're just gonna take a look at how you can insert after, and then next video is gonna be how to insert before. It's gonna be very, very short, don't worry. So <clears throat> to start off, let's create a function. Again, insert after, let's say. And after what? After a node. So I'm gonna pass in here, not a, not the tail, nor the head. I'm actually gonna pass in the node. And a simple pointer to node. We don't need a double pointer because, well, we don't really need to change the reference from it, right? We just have a, uh, we just have a node and we sort of want to add uh, like right next to it, our new node, right? So we're gonna just say here node and we want the value that we want to add. So I'm just gonna say int value. So again, this example, we have one, three and seven, that's our W linked list. And let's say we want to insert this five, not, not after the end of a list, but after the node three, the node, the node with the value three. How do we do that? What, what exactly do, should we do? Well, take a moment and think about it and see if you can figure it out by yourself. It's actually very similar to what we did with the adding at the end at or at the beginning. So let's start with thinking about where should this guy point to, right? So first, the previous pointer of five, well, if you want to insert after three, we know that the previous pointer of five is going to be three. So that's simple. We just kind of link this guy here. And then the next pointer of five, well, since, since we want to insert after three, it was the previous node that three had after it, right? So since now five is after three, seven is no longer after three, seven is after five. So it makes sense to actually link it to this, let's say like this. Okay, but this is not finished because right now we, we didn't change the linked list, right? If we iterate over it, we go one, three, and then we go three arrow, seven, uh, three arrow next, it's going to give us seven, which is all good. So we need to change three arrow next, right? So since five is going to be after three, we need three arrow next to be five. So that's simple enough. We just have to change this guy to point to five. Let's say just like so. Okay. And next, well, if we iterate over it, right, if you go one, three, then three arrow next is five, which is nice. Five arrow next is seven. So that's amazing. And then seven arrow next is null. It's our head. But if you go the other way around seven, well, seven arrow previous is still three. So that's not correct. We have to change that to be five, right? We want seven arrow previous to be five and then five arrow previous to be three, not five, no, not seven arrow previous to be three. So this guy should point back to our node with the value five. So now if you go previous, right? If you go from head to tail, you start with seven, you go seven arrow previous is well, five, that's nice. Now five arrow previous is three and then three arrow previous is one. So that works nicely both ways. So that's what we have to change. We have to change the, what well, the next of our uh, node that we want to add after, right? The previous, the previous of our what? Well, this guy is three arrow next. So three arrow next arrow previous, that's what we have to change to point to our new node. And then of course, set our new nodes previous and next to be proper. So to start off, we first have to, well, instantiate the node. You've seen this quite a few times. I'm going to just fast forward. Okay. So what do we have to set here? Well, first new node arrow X is going to be our new value. Of course, that's simple. Then we said that new node arrow previous, right? So this guy has to point to the node we want to, to add after, which is the node that has been passed to us, right? Using the uh, function call. So you can say here, new node arrow previous equals node. Simple enough now. But then new node arrow next is going to be what? 
Well, if we take a look here, it's this guy, right? We have new node arrow. Next is this seven. But what's seven? Well, since we haven't modified this part yet, seven is our node arrow next, right? It's our previous node after uh, the node we want to add after, it, that, if that makes sense. Nice, so we have created a node. Now we have to change those uh, two links. So first we have to do what? Well, we have to change this guy so that from seven to three, it points to five instead. How do we do that? Well, seven is again, node arrow next. And then this pointer is arrow previous of whatever we have. So it's node arrow next, arrow previous. So we want to change node arrow next, arrow previous. Now, this is okay. We want to change it to point to our new node, of course. I'm going to say new node here. Only problem is that <clears throat> new node arrow next could be null, right? We might have passed for some whatever reason, this node could be actually our head. So if it's our head, this is null, remember, and null arrow something is going to just crash. So we should check if node arrow next is not null. Right, if it's not null, we want to change that value. If it's null, we simply don't care. It's just null. And re remember, this doesn't affect this thing because, well, it's just that it just means that our next node is going to be null, right? We're not dereferencing null here, which is important. And lastly, we have to change the next pointer of our node that we want to add after. Simple enough. This is this is the most logical one. We just have to say node arrow next equals new node. And that's really everything. As you can see, it's similar to singly linked lists, right? We have just basically a few modifications to the uh, neighboring nodes. Before with just a singly linked list, we had to just change the previous, the, the node we want to add after. That's all, really, and the new node, of course. You might want to try to actually reorder these operations so that, because I, I did pick the easiest ordering of these assignments. But remember, if I were to, for example, move this up here, like so, well, then node arrow next would be our new node. So you would have to change this a bit. Maybe figure it out. If What if this assignment would be here? What, what do you have to change? below it. So now let's get to checking this uh, function. So you say here, insert, instead of insert and I want to insert after, well, not our head, I want to insert after what? After three. What's three? Well, we know that one is tail, so three is tail arrow next. Make sense? Yes, it does make sense. Or you could say, we know that head is seven, so head arrow previous is three. Same thing. So we want to insert after tail arrow next, the number five. If we try to run this, you'll notice I get one, three, five, and seven. So five indeed was inserted after the node with the value three. All right, I hope you understand these operations and now you should be able to actually create these functions on your own without much issue, right? I think they are pretty simple once you get the gist of it. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.